what up, y'all, your boy? I honestly don't know what happened last live stream, so I do apologize for that. But, uh, we need to talk about something here, man. Like, something that I am very disturbed about. Like, I'm very fucking disturbed by Marty right now. Like, for real, dude. Like, Marty, what the fuck, bro? You gonna sit there and try to fucking rate lads? What the fuck, nigga? Like, dude, that's just sick. That's honestly disturbing as fuck. Like, that's seriously disturbing, man. For you to be that fucking gross. He really does. He really fucking does. Like, dude, Marty is sick in the fucking head. Like, I'm not even gonna sit there and lie. Like, dude, Marty's fucking gross. Like, Marty, what the fuck you thinking, bitch? He basically sat there and said that he would fucking rape me if we were on a stranded island together. Like, bro, that's just fucking nasty. Like, what the fuck? Dude, let me tell you, when I fucking read that, I fucking, I almost fucking puked. I almost fucking puked up my dinner. Like, that's just nasty, bro. You don't do that shit. Yeah, and it's fucking sickening. I'm not gay, motherfucker. Like, dude, I am straight, you know. Like, I have somebody I'm talking to. Not saying who, out of respect for them, because they wanted me to keep it private. And I'm gonna respect that. But, dude, what the fuck? That's just nasty, man. Like, how are you going to sit there and, oh. Bro, that's just gross. Like, dude, that shit's just sickening. Yeah, but, Dad, let me tell you, bro. This man literally sat right there and said that if we were stranded on an island together, that he would actually fucking rape me, dude. That's just nasty. That's just fucking sickening and gross. Like, bro, do you have any idea how disturbing that is? Like, and that's why I'm bringing it up, because that shit's disturbing. Like, ugh. No. Facts. Marty the Rapist. Straight the fuck up. What should we do to him? Ooh, that's a good question, Dana. Yo, definite, bro. Uh, what's your Facebook?
Or if you want to, as a matter of fact, bro, what I'll do is I'll, I'll paste my link in here, and then you can add me up, bro. You can add me the fuck up. All right, so it looks like we're racing the Koenigsegg Jesco, which I don't have. I do need to get this car, though, for reals. Oh, damn, the Jesco's quick. I forgot how fast this Koenigsegg Jesco is. It's definitely grippy, though. Dude, we're damn near hitting 300. Bro, 275, bro. That is insane, man. That is flipping bananas. Dude, we're legit doing 275 right now. Down this freaking straight. That is flipping crazy. For once, I am glad I hit that thing because I needed to slow my ass down. For reals. Bro, that is, dude, that thing is wild. I want that car. That thing is wild, dude. Here's the thing, though, Don. It ain't all about weight, nigga. When it comes down to a fight, it ain't about weight or size. It's really not. Like, I can honestly say I would fuck him up. Like, I would straight knock his ass out. Because, yes, while I may look weak, I'm actually a lot stronger than most people take me for. I dare say I would fuck him up. Before he even gets a chance to lay a hand on me, his ass would be on the fucking ground bleeding. And I'm not playing. I would fuck his ass up. Like, I would, put, I would probably put him in the fucking hospital because I'll break his fucking arm. Like, I would straight break his goddamn arm. I would not give a fuck. Honestly, I'd be willing to say that I put a fucking knife to his goddamn throat before he touches me. I would straight kill his ass. Like, no joke, I would probably go to jail for murder because I will fucking murder him. And if he even thinks he's going to lay a fucking hand on me, he's fucking stupid. I would straight fuck his little ass up. Hey, Marty, we all know you're a fan. We all know that you're gay, bro, but come on, dog. You already know damn good and well I ain't gay, you fucking freak. Dude, Jake's, dude, Jake's my little brother. Like, come on, man. Leave Jake out of this, man. That's my little brother. You leave my fucking family out of this, homie. And, dude, here's the thing about me and Jake, man. Me and Jake, me and Jake are cool with each other. So I got no reason to try to fuck him up. 
I got no reason to try to fuck Jake up like that. Now, Marty, on the other hand, I will fuck his ass up three ways from Sunday. I will straight put him on the ground. And something y'all don't realize is I'm gentle with Jake because Jake's my little brother. I got nothing against him. But even Jake knows that when it comes down to a fight between me and him, I can still put him on his ass. Here's the thing, bro. It's not about fucking weight or height. It's not about that. You can be heavy as fuck and be the strongest dude in the world and still have your weak spots. And I guarantee you, I can easily put Marty on his goddamn ass. Easily. Dude, I've taken out guys heavier than him back in fucking high school. Quite easily, too. So I will have zero issue putting that fat piece of fucking shit on his goddamn ass. Zero fucking issue. Actually, try 5'3 and 150. Try 5'3 and 150 pounds, motherfucker. You got that way backwards, dog. I am 5'3 and 150. So, yeah, I can fuck him up and I can hold my own. So, if you think I'm some sort of fucking pushover, bitch, try me. I'll show you that I ain't a fucking pushover. I have zero issue proving that I ain't a fucking pushover. Like I said, let Marty fucking come at me. I'll fuck him up. Actually, Jake's only... Actually, believe it or not, Jake's only 6'1", bro. Jake ain't that much taller than me, dog. He's really not. He's literally like 5'1". Or no, like... What am I saying, 5'1"? He's like 6'1". So, yeah, he does tower over me, but even Jake knows not to get on my bad side, bro. Even Jake knows not to, you know, piss me off. Because Jake knows that if I really wanted to, I could fuck him up. And trust me, I've done it before. You can't even ask him. Like, you can't even ask Jake. I have put Jake on his ass a few times. Like, you can't even, you can even ask him, man. He will fucking tell you. Why did I just fucking barrel roll this thing? Still, point being though, Marty is a sick and twisted individual that needs to be put in the goddamn psych ward. Like, for real, Marty needs to be put in a fucking mental hospital. And I'm not fucking kidding. Wait, Marty is a sick and twisted individual, and I can't stand the motherfucker. He's very sick and very deranged. On 
honest, I know though, man, this course is definitely a trippy. I'm fucking with this course right now. Oh, dude. Yeah, we're fucked. This is definitely the coolest fucking Hot Wheels course I think I've ever driven. Oh, dude, they're going to make me stop on a dime. Okay, okay, I got you now. Oh, damn, we're going flying. That was definitely the coolest thing. Bro, that was actually a cool track. Point being though, man, Marty is a sick individual who needs to be in a fucking mental war. Like, I'm not fucking playing. The dude's a fucking sick freak. Yo, I knew this spider had a lot of power behind him, but goddamn. You know what? This nigga's gotta go. You know what, this nigga's gotta go. All right, we'll definitely accept here in a minute, dog. Oh, yeah, that's weird. It's not showing that you had it, man. What the fuck? Let me resend you my Facebook. Actually, um, what I'll do is I'll resend you my Facebook, and then you can go in and send me a message on there, and then I'll add you, okay? It was good, dude. It was good. Um, watch the GTR LMFD. Yeah, it's just me. It was actually real good, man. Um, and the race itself was in like six days, I think. Yo, what's good, man? <laughs> 